The New Jersey plan was proposed in response to the Virginia plan. It was proposed by William Patterson of New Jersey. He, along with delegates from other small states, were worried that if representation was based on population, small states would be powerless to the wishes of larger states. The New Jersey plan would create a one-house legislature, or what's known as a unicameral legislature. Each state would have one vote. This would be similar to the legislature under the Articles of Confederation. Congress had the power to tax based on the population of each state. Slaves would be counted as three-fifths of a person to determine population in states with slave populations. So for every five slaves, they would count as three. Congress would also have the power to collect tariffs and regulate interstate trade. This plan also created a judicial branch that would be comprised of a supreme tribunal and a federal executive consisting of multiple people that would be chosen by Congress and could be recalled by state governors. You see, the New Jersey plan was really looking to limit power. They did not want one strong central executive. They thought if they created this council of executives that was chosen by Congress and can be recalled by the governors, that group of executives would not become too powerful.